As you recall in an earlier training video, we covered the Action Center, which is down here on the taskbar, the second status icon from the left, that little flag. Notice how you got a little white X with a red circle around it. When you click on it, if there are issues regarding the security of your computer, it'll go ahead and list them right here, the three of them. You can click on one of them, for example, turn on Webroot Antivirus Program, and it'll open up and it'll try to perform the action. I'm going to go ahead and close out. Come back down here and click on it. So instead of performing each one of these actions separately, if I just come down here and click on Open the Action Center, it shows or lists all the actions that Windows 7 considers a security threat. And the top three are not having an antivirus program installed and running in the background of your computer. And there it is. It's saying, hey, where's your antivirus program? Or a spy sweeper. And then down below, Windows Update. Now, Windows Update is kind of a fickle little thing. It wants to be able to automatically download and install any updates that Microsoft immediately releases. Now, if you don't like immediate releases and you want to be able to pick and choose or see what's coming down the pike like I do, then you'll probably will always have this message unless you say, turn the message off, okay? And then finally, if you're not backing up the files on your computer, that's kind of a security issue. Because if your computer goes haywire, then what do you have for backup? Your toast, right? Okay, first things first. Up here for the security in the security section for my antivirus program, Windows 7 can see that I have Spy Sweeper on my computer and it's turned off. If I come down here and click on the little arrow here to open up the notification area, you can see, and if you watch my previous training videos, I had that little yellow circle. That was my antivirus program that's no longer running. So I need to turn it on and have it running, otherwise it gives me this warning. So I can either turn it on now and have it running, or if I'm just, for whatever reason, don't want it running, then I can come up here and say, turn off the message. So I don't get, well, one of the three messages that are popping up. It's a good idea to have these messages if you need to go out and purchase an antivirus program. So what you can do is come up here and click on that little arrow to expand everything. Come down here where it says virus protection and say, go ahead and turn on the messages or give me the warning. Okay, and you can see a little pop-up down below. Turn on the antivirus, please. So I can come up here and when I click turn it on, it's going to say, do you actually trust Webroot Security, the company here? And I say, yes, trust the publisher. And notice how it loads up. It's turned on. Well, it opens up before me here. I'm going to go ahead and close out of it, let it run in the background. You can see down here, let me close out of that little pop-up window. And there it is running in the background. And if I click on the little arrow, it actually bumps it in here into the notification area. It's not going to be shown on the taskbar but hidden in the notification area so yay it's happily running and Windows 7 happy about that so let me go ahead and click off in a blank area and then come up here and click on that arrow to collapse it so I just have two problems left I have Windows Update like I said it's a fickled thing unless you give complete and full control over to Microsoft Windows 7 saying I don't want to know what the updates are just to install them as soon as they're available then this will be a happy guy so if I come over here and I click on change settings and like I said, it says, look, do you want us to install updates automatically and you don't have a choice? No, I want to choose. I say, let me choose. And then up here, click on the drop down arrow. And wherever it says recommended, if you don't select what's recommended, it's going to give us that little warning. So where it wants to install updates automatically as soon as they're available, which I can see why Microsoft wants to do that, because if there's a virus going around on all the computers and a lot of people's computers are infected and they're sending out emails and infecting other computers, then, hey, let's go ahead and do a mass release, have it automatically install on your computer. Or you can download the updates, but let me choose whether to install them or check for updates, but let me choose whether to download them and install them or never check, which I don't recommend. And neither does Microsoft. What I like to choose is check for updates, but let me choose whether to download and install them because there may be times I'm working on something and I don't want to download it at a time that I'm working on it because sometimes those programs that you download require that you shut down and restart your computer and I don't want those pop-ups. It just seems kind of a mess. But again, I'm taking my chances if they're not automatically downloading and installing on my computer. But in my mind, I figure, hey, if I'm right in the middle of something, I don't want to be interrupted and have Microsoft wanting to shut down my computer because it just finished an automatic update, okay? So notice when I choose any option besides the one recommended here, anything else, and I click OK, Windows 7 is not happy with that because it still gives me the message. It says, hey, you have to check it so it automatically does it, otherwise we're going to give you a warning. Well, I don't like to see your warning, so I'll go ahead and click on Turn Off Messages about the update. So now I have one warning left, and that's, hey, you got to start backing up your files. Well, in short, if I go ahead and click Run Backup Now, I've done it before. It'll go ahead and it'll start running the backup and 
copy all my files or essential files to my external hard drive or hard drive that's connected through the USB cable. But if this is the first time that you're going to run backup, it's going to ask you a few questions. You give it some answers. In any case, I'll show you how to do a backup in my Windows 7 Level 2 training videos. Otherwise, if, if this message is something that annoys you because you run your backups manually, you don't have to use Windows 7's backup, go ahead and turn it off and you won't get the little warning down here in the Action Center on the flag when you click on it. Notice how I just have one now instead of the uh, three. And then when you're finished, we can go ahead and close out. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.